Well, we know this. The Bay Area is home to some of the best musicians and rappers. This Black History Month, we are highlighting one leaving an impact here in the Bay. We're talking about I Am Sue. Now, we caught up with him at one of his favorite Bay Area spots, as well as a place that was pivotal for him in his career. He tells us about a special person who, like him, has also left a lasting impact in the Bay. I just love to make music and just that feeling is almost like discovering something every time. Hey, 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 I'm back in the city. It's time to get busy. I came out the ugly. It wasn't ever pretty. I did his lyrics, his beats. You may recognize them, especially if you grew up in the Bay Area. We caught up with rapper I Am Sue. Born and raised in the East Bay, he's got deep roots here. Number one is, I think we all got the belief that we could do everything ourselves. He's been in the game for years. Um, independence, I think that's like the number one thing with Bay Area artists, and I think that's our biggest strength. Independence and consistency. He takes us into a place that feels like home. Youth Radio Media in downtown Oakland. Yeah, you see me? Yeah. That gotta be in a documentary right here. That's too <laughs> classic. Where he learned to make beats, a place he says was pivotal for his career. The culture. Um, the music and the confidence to rap like some like my first raps that I was writing I'll be performing them or just saying them to like guys that was up here you know what I'm saying and people be giving me constructive criticism and stuff like come harder like this for I am Sue his inspiration the most important thing his family it's everything it's everything it's the reason why I do it and um, it's motivation permanent motivation. What people may not know though, his grandfather is James Andrew Harris, the first African American to be credited in the discovery of an element on the periodic table. He helped discover elements 104 and 105 at the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory. He was the first celebrity in the family going around and doing speaking engagements. A father figure for him. He says he was about 12 when he passed. But his grandfather's voice, his advice, he carries with him every day. He had a phrase called PIT, is an acronym of uh, patience, intelligence, time, and I repeat that to myself all the time. So that's instilled in me. Different generations, but both leaving a lasting impact. I feel like we both discovered something, like as far as like breaking music down, like being a producer and an artist, you kind of see music in a different light. Um, so I feel like we both, I discovered my sound and he, he discovered the elements. So I think that's what we have in common, just ingenuity and um, again, creativity. So what's next for I Am Sue? New music, yeah. So this year I have a lot of plans for new music. I want to be clever. Uh, I want to expand my vocabulary as much as possible. So uh, I just have unique references. I want to make a lot of like local references. So like if you know, you know, if you grew up out here or if you just know me personally, you know, you know. And through those lyrics, he hopes his fans can take something away, knowledge and inspiration. And look who we have joining us this morning. Hey. Good morning, everybody. Thank yeah. you for joining us. Thank you for having me. And we love seeing your story here, especially the fact that you were telling me you want more people to know about your grandfather. Absolutely. Very yeah. important to me. I feel like his story is um, underappreciated. Yeah, and you know, you talked about new music. What else can we expect coming up? Well, I dropped a song today. Ooh, yeah, it's oh, called perfect um, timing. Yeah, perfect timing. <laughs> as well as some educational videos. I just uh, made a step into that realm. So my mom is a teacher. So we released um, some kids music and videos on YouTube. Wow. Alim's funky number facts and alphabets. So go on my YouTube page. Yeah, well, that's really cool. Really creative. Mm -hmm. It's a great way, I think, to get people or kids, especially to learn something different if they're mm -hmm. listening in a, to it in a way that they would resonate with. Yeah, I exactly. think she'll put it on for her kids later uh, 100%. Today. <laughs> Please do, yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> Well, we got the morning mix, and you're going to be staying here with us. Can't wait to do yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, in fact, let's kick off right here with the first story. And this is maybe something that, I don't know if you saw the Grammys this year, mm -hmm. but they had this great hip-hop tribute, 50 yeah. years of hip-hop. So it's been talked a lot about on social media about this particular list. Since we're celebrating 50 years of hip-hop, Billboard came out with their version of their 50 greatest rappers of all time. So here are the top 10. So at number 10, it's Nicki Minaj. Number 9 is Snoop Dogg. Number eight is Drake, seven, Lil Wayne, and six, Notorious B.I.G. Okay, so top five, here we go. Eminem, number five, Tupac, number four, three is Nas, two, Kendrick Lamar, and number one is Jay-Z. Bay Area's E-40, by the way, ranked at number 41. So I am Susan, since you're hanging out with us, you're a special guest. What did you think of the list? What do you think of that top 10? Did they get it right? 
I think everyone is entitled to their opinion, yeah. and every <laughs> list changes. That's what I say when I don't want to say something. <laughs> well, well, I personally, if I had to say, Little Wayne should be higher. Really? But, okay. Yeah, I think everyone is entitled to their opinion. I what, agree. Yeah. Because I felt uh, Dr. Dre, in particular, for me, it's what like number 40, mm -hmm. 41 on the list, and I feel like he was so influential on just bringing a different sound to hip hop and rap with lyrics and music when he did it and discovering like Snoop Dogg and things like that so i feel like he should be a little higher in my yeah. opinion so i'm with you you know i think there's everyone's got their own perspective well i wanted to ask do you look when you think about a list do you think about their style their lyrics longevity in their career what do you you know think about when you think of greatest rapper greatest rappers so, of all time i think all of those factors play a role um originality is important mm -hmm. to me mm -hmm. um lyrics always uh beat selection i okay. think is very important so I think it's a lot of things that play into being a top rapper. Yeah. Well, being from the Bay Area, I think E-40 should have been higher. Right. Yeah. Maybe we're right. a little biased, though. Yeah. Just yeah. a little yeah. bias. All right. Really quick, let's talk about this. The way we listen to music has changed a lot, even in the last decade. Do you feel like the differences in how you hear it online with Spotify and things like that make a difference in music? Absolutely. And mm -hmm. it's um, way quicker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So many songs come out every day. I think like 50,000 songs, so And a new one different. today. Yeah, exactly. For, and for me, mm -hmm. a new one today. So yeah, that from the CD era to yeah. this, definitely is way faster to pace. And it allows awesome. people to stay independent, too, mm -hmm. having all of these platforms, right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You can go straight from your laptop or your phone mm -hmm. and have the world listening to your music. Well, That's thank amazing. you for coming in. And also, thank you, thank you to your mama for coming yeah, in, too. Yeah. She's the <laughs> studio <laughs> support. Thank Thanks thank for sharing your story with us. Absolutely. We appreciate it. I think it's important for people to know it. All right, we'll be right back.